We're gonna get ready with Gina Conti Game Day Edition, and you're gonna walk us through from start to finish what the process is like for game days. Ready? Yes. Hello, everyone. Come get ready with me. All right, let's get it. I'll get my basketball shoes and take them um, to the training room. Ooh, Here's wait, what I play let's talk in. about these, because these are nice. Favorite shoes to hoop in? Yes. You cool. also rock number 10, too, why is that? So I used to be number five, um, wasn't available, so I just doubled it. Oh, there you go, <laughs> yeah. double the bucket. Too, short, right? short, yeah, there good. you go. Long story short. <laughs> yes, yeah, so here's our feeling station. Um, this is the classic smoothie a lot of people get, and then non dairy. We have a bunch of options. Acai bowls are also really good. I'll get those sometimes post practice um, before the game. But, what you um, make in London? Toast, um, and a little bit of jelly. Okay. My smoothie. Nice. Look aside. Yeah. A wide variety over here. Yeah. All right. So you're doing peanut butter toast. Yeah, we got to get in there, but uh, okay. I don't know. Gets all over my hands. <laughs> so good luck. Right there. Sometimes, if I'm really feeling it, we'll do like the everything bagel, toast it, add um, avocado, Ooh, and they right. have that in there, okay. and then we'll put some uh, boiled eggs. This is the mom pat that I learned. <laughs> right here is the mom pat. <laughs> Meal of a champ. That's good. good. That's Might great. need some water though. I'll get you I know, water. Right? <laughs> this is my seat. Um, come in here and sit down every single time. Pop up, and I'll get ankle treatment, and then um, I get my toes taped, <laughs> a few blisters, and my ankle. Now you're ready to get some shots up. Yes. What's going through your mind as you're getting ready to prepare for these games and get some shots up? Yeah, so right now, um, we'll just get some form shooting in, thing we do every day, and then um, right before we go uh, over film, just focus on what we do best. Um, we'll talk about things that we're gonna execute and what we need to focus on. Um, you know, we play Cal, so what our emphasis is um, coming off of Stanford's game, rebounding is gonna be something that's really important. Also, they have a lot of quick guards, so making sure we can get sit down and defend one-on-one um, -on -one defense, but also have each other's backs and be in the gaps and help each other out. Before yeah. I let you go, I gotta let you fill in this blank for me. Gina Conti is? A competitor. Charisma Osborne is? A great basketball defender. Ooh, why, why is that so love that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you hearing this, Coach? <laughs> Describe that for me. What makes defense so important to you? Yeah, we just talk about with our team defense being our anchor and being something that just helps us so much, especially on the offensive end. So I take a lot of pride in that. Um, and then my teammates do as well. So super important. I don't want to coach feelings. I want to coach behaviors and commitments. I hope you have a little chip. But it does us no good if it doesn't translate to humility to get better. Okay? You should be pissed off. But what are you going to do with your feelings? You act out of your commitments. You act from a place of humility that I know I got to do more for my team. Okay? We don't need talk. We need to act. Make sure we're, we only have to coach certain things. All right? No feelings, only commitments. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Do the work. One, two, three. Do the work. The best dancer you've ever met. They're lucky. Oh, I play yeah. basketball. No. Now that song is stuck in my head. Which one? Off the bottom jeans? Yeah. Off the bottom jeans. Off the bottom jeans. UCLA women's basketball. Let's go. All right, coach is in here. Who you got, Gina? Who's winning? Hey. Woo, I'm hoping I'm, I'm warm enough right now. I don't want to pull a muscle. Oh, first person out, Gina. Let's talk about it. Yeah, that's my best friend. She just did me dirty. She had a, she had a plan before, so I don't even know what that was about. Let's go. Standing, right? Exactly. I gotta get some props for that. Go in my book. I love it. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Is this a three point contest? Hey! <laughs> Queen of the court, talk to me. How you feeling? I'm tired, but I knew I was coming out with the dub. 
The second I stepped onto the court. Priscilla taking on Cal. Here's my madness matchup, keys of the game. Number one for Cal, they have to keep UCLA off the offensive glass. The Bruins are ranked number one in the Pac-12 in offensive rebounds per game. And number two, limit paint production. In Cal's last two losses, the Bears allowed 30 or more points in the paint. UCLA loves to attack and gets to the line as the number two team in free throw percentage in the Pac-12. Now for UCLA, number one, they have to get into the passing lanes. When UCLA swipes away more than seven steals a game, they're 13-0. Pressure defense will be a difference maker in this matchup. And last but not least, close out in the final frame. The Bruins suffered from this against the number one and number two team in the nation, South Carolina and Stanford. It's worthy to note that UCLA is dangerous in the third quarter with plus 64 overall points this season in the third quarter. However, only plus 10 in the final frame. UCLA has to come out strong and finish the job. That's my Madness matchup, keys of the game.